How do you get rid of your nerves before giving a speech or an interview or an executive update? Well, I want to give you this one key mindset shift and walk you through how you can tactically overcome your nerves and become a better speaker. It starts with this phrase, gift, not expectation. What does that mean? Well, the problem is here. We have high expectations for how we want to perform. We're worried that people may not think we're polished enough. We may not sound smart enough to our audience. We may not come off as prepared. And when we think this way, these are what we call gnats. They're negative automatic thoughts. These are what cripple us from performing at our best. So instead, we need to reframe it. Instead of thinking about ourselves, an act of selfishness, we need to think about our communication as an act of service. And that's where this gift comes from. You are giving your audience a gift every time you speak. It's not about you. It's about them. So how can we give them that gift? What are the gifts that we could give? Well, there are three types of gifts that you could give to your audience whenever you speak. I don't care if it's an interview, a speech, an executive update, a pitch. The first type of gift you can give is information. What key information do you want to arm your audience with? The second key type of gift is emotion. How do you want your audience to feel after you've given that speech? And the final gift is action. The ability to take action enabling your audience to take action on something. Now, question is, how often do you have each of these goals? Well, the honest answer is that you can combine these elements, these multiple gifts into a single goal. You can have a goal that's information. You can have a gift that's information and emotion. You can have gifts that's emotional and actionable. But then how do we put it all together? How can we create a coherent North Star for us that serves as our gift to our audience? So before I ever give a speech or prepare for an interview or give an executive update or pitch my product, I always write down the audience gift I want to give. And it starts like this. I want, this is your audience my audience to feel blank. That's the emotional gift about blank. That's the information in order to blank. And that's the action. I want blank, my audience to feel blank about blank in order to blank. And your goal is just fill in those blanks. Okay. So for example, let's say that I were in enablement, sales enablement, and I wanted to create an onboarding plan for our sales leadership team to implement. Okay. So what I might do is say, I want sales leadership I want sales leadership to feel excited about my onboarding plan, right? About my onboarding plan in order to implement it with her team. I want my sales leadership to feel excited about my onboarding plan in order to implement it with her team. You could also have another goal in the interview context. I want my hiring manager to feel confident about my prospects as a candidate in order to hire me. You could recycle this framework whenever you need, but then what I want you to do is I want you to put this goal on a sticky note and reference it before your big talk. Because at the end of the day, this anchors you, this prevents you from rambling. And the most important part of this entire statement is this right here. This is the emotion. You can have many different types of gifts to your audience, but at the end of the day, it only comes down to here. This is the root word, excitement, confidence, because this is what dictates how you speak. Your delivery is dictated by the emotion you wanna convey. So whenever you're speaking, always remember this, always. Okay, you don't necessarily need to have an informational goal, it might be implied. You don't even need them to take action sometimes, it might be implied. 
but you need them to feel an emotion because that drives action. And this is the missing ingredient. When you can focus on the emotion you're trying to impart on your audience, all of a sudden, you've elevated yourself as a speaker. You're not worrying about the technicalities of how does my voice sound? Oh, what do I do with my hands? Or, oh, how do I look with my face? No. If you just follow the emotion, everything else will come into place. So that's the critical lesson I want to impart you with. You should not think about yourself, those negative automatic thoughts, those gnats, but instead reframe it as how can I give a gift to my audience? What is that gift? And here it is right here. This is the blueprint. Let me know what you think. Thanks.